Well, by the time the King Edward VII stakes came along, jockey Steve Corson was having a disappointing day. This time, his ride was on the unbeaten Peter, trained by Henry Cecil, who started in modest company at Pontefract, but was now the best-backed horse of the day at 7-4. Peter, from Bonnie Scott, Al Flora, Baton, Jean, Sunseeker, Thaya, then Surf being pushed along, Alpha, Colorific, Sonus, and now Bardi is last. Two and a half furlongs out and stay straighten up and Pito the leader under pressure now and Bonnie Scott and Baton have come to challenge. Al Flora on the inside, then comes Thayer and it's Baton who's quickened up to take the lead for Michael Kinnan. Al Flora running on to challenge Pito for second. Thayer coming on the outside with Bonnie Scott. Jern is coming late but Baton the leader from Al Flora in second. Then Jern is third but Baton is going to win it as they run up towards the line. Baton is going to win it with Jern going on to be second. Baton wins, Jern second, Al Flora third. Sonus runs on to be fourth ahead of Alphard. Baton the winner at 12 to 1, Jern second at 9 to 2, third Al Flora at 16 to 1. So another disappointment for Steve Corton, but the winner was completing a 337 to 1 double for jockey Michael Canan. And in